What's going on, everyone? This is part two of SLC Digital Integration. So in part one, I know I was talking about different languages of coding and how they're similar to different languages of speech. I also want to mention how it's similar to brass instruments and playing music, right? So in the sense that where if you learn how to play piano on one keyboard, you learn how to play piano on every single keyboard, right? All that's different is maybe that's the intonation, not the intonation, the way that it sounds, right? The sound quality, all that's different is the weight of the keys when you're pressing on it, right? However, the essentials of the keyboard are all the basics, right? And on top of that, the reason why I say brass, the reason why I say, you know, if you play any brass instrument, the mouthpiece and buzzing, <laughs> understanding is the basics and the foundation of all brass instruments, right? And so it's, it's the same thing with reed instruments, right? If you learn how to play clarinet, essentially you can play any reed instrument, oboe, tenor sax, all the other reed instruments, berry sax, things like that. Flute, uh, I guess, you know, pick alone flute, but that's not really universal. Universal as other families of instruments. And percussionist, I'm a beatboxer, right? So percussionist, every, every, if you're a percussionist, everything's your instrument. A blanket, a chair, the wall, a picture frame. As a percussionist, every everything's your instrument, right? And the reason why I want to say why this is super important is for me as uh, an individual, I have to relate things to learn new things with things I already know. So in order for me to learn new things, I literally have to relate. Like this is how I, uh, for me, this is how I learned that school was a scam. Is because I related um, the aspect of school with business. Like it's, it's interesting. I went to school for business, but then I use my entrepreneurial skills to understand school. But then I went to school for business, but I didn't actually learn anything useful about business then I had to like use my entrepreneurial business skills to understand school, right? And as, as I said this a lot in part one, I'm gonna keep on saying it over and over again, gaining money is based off vehicle. The slowest vehicle is school in the sense that it doesn't make sense where you need to, well, now it makes sense because I've related it with business, right? With business, what it is is I give value in exchange for money. So like like this video, if this video was an NFT and I made a barrier to it, right? Let's say this video costs three hundred thousand dollars, right? Then you need to pay, you know, three hundred million dollars to watch this video. Versus with school, it's like okay, you need to get a degree in a field that you don't understand. You need to get a whole bunch of debt, loans, and money to go into a field that you don't understand to then get a job and then that job is gonna help pay for the field that you wanted to learn about. But if I wanted to do work into the field, wouldn't I go to work into the field first and then go to school after to learn more about it? You see how I'm saying it doesn't make any sense where it's like you are in depth in all these loans, right? And then after college, you go do your work but then you still have questions about it. So then you have to go back to school. Let's say if you have questions about your profession and then you still have more depths and loans. Do you see how the way I'm explaining it, it still doesn't even make any sense, right? Earlier I was saying how it makes sense to me. No, it doesn't. I take everything back. It does not make any sense. I'm explaining it and it still doesn't make any sense. So like I said, school's a complete scam, right? So it doesn't make any sense. I literally, had, I literally learned more about entrepreneurship outside of school than I did in school. And I'm a business major. I'm a marketing major and I learned and I, I had to this is this is literally this is literally what I had to do, okay? I un, I under like I used my outside alternative education knowledge to understand school. What the heck? I thought school was supposed to teach me about marketing and business. What the heck? It didn't. Um and so continuing on of since money is getting since gaining money is based on a vehicle. Right, in the same sense that if you learn trumpet, that means you can learn French horn. If you learn French horn, it means you can learn trumpet. Right. So for me, throughout middle school, I played both. Throughout high school, I played both. So I'm I'm a I was a god French horn player, and French horn is one of the hardest brass instruments. And all that knowledge, learning trumpet was super easy. And on top of that, you know, if I ever venture off into learning trombone, if I ever venture off into learning tuba, 
if I ever venture off into learning baritone, all these other instruments, you know, sousaphone, fucking whatever other instruments there are there that are brass, uh, soprano, trumpet, let's see, uh, soprano, trombone, right, a lot of these other instruments that since I learned the hardest instrument first, French horn, all these other instruments are going to be super easy, right? And the same thing goes with the reed instruments. Let's say you're an oboe player or a, a bassoon player, right? That's an instrument that I have remembered, right? Learning those hardest instrument first. If you're a bassoon player, you learn the hardest instrument first, bassoon, when you go back to oboe, back to saxophone, back to clarinet, it's going to be no-brainer, a breeze in your sleep, right? You'll be able to play in your sleep. Let's say you're a percussionist. If you're a master drum kit, player because drum kit there's multiple parts right there's four plus parts on the drum kit you in each limb you need to like work with each limb it's it's insane then when you go back to playing you know let's say bongo or xylophones things like that even for piano players right let's say you're a percussionist then you go play xylophones then go play piano and then back to xylophones because you're a percussionist and then you master piano the xylophones become super easy right the marimbas all these other great instruments right and so the reason why i'm saying on top of that, right, this is why I say skills compound exponentially. Because now that you understand how to play one instrument, you understand how to play all instruments. Now that you know how to speak one type of English, you're able to understand all kinds of English, UK English, Australian English, Canadian English, American English. And then let's say you, let's say you learn Python then you're able to understand all the other coding softwares. Now watch this, everyone. Because you understand one platform, let's say on social media, Instagram, right? If you understand how to grow on Instagram, now you know how to grow on all social media platforms. Fan house, only fans. Right now that you understand how to grow on social media platforms, right? Let's say on TikTok, right? Now that you know how to grow on social media platforms like YouTube, Spotify, Instagram, TikTok, now those skills transfer, right? Because essentially what social media is, each social media platform is just like coding and those dialogues and languages and playing different instruments that I talk about in the sense that once you have the skill of understanding how to scale on social media with your Instagram, now you can use those skills to scale on OnlyFans, Van House, Patreon, Airbnb, right? And then on top of that, those skills stack exponentially because now not only are you learning how to scale social media, but also you're also learning how to ask for money in exchange for your work, for your content, right? So this is how entrepreneurship begins. In the sense that as more and more content you make, right? As the more and more production that is being produced, not only now, yes, now on top of being able to, you know, ask for money in exchange for your work, on top, now you are learning about gross profit. Now you're learning about gross revenue. Now you're learning about GDP. Now you're learning about economics, right? On top of that. Then on top of that, because as bag increases, as your bread increases, now you're understanding Airbnbs. Now you're understanding yachts. Now you're understanding that market. Now you're understanding trading, right? Crypto, Web 3.0, NFTs, all these different aspects and these higher ticket vehicles of how to become a billionaire, trillionaire, gazillionaire, zillionaire, Googleplex to the Googleplex air, right? So everyone, my name is SLC Digital Integration. This is, my name is SLC. And then this is part two to the digital integration. Uh, hello everyone, my name is SLC. And this is part two to the SLC digital integration sort of mini series that I'm creating in real time right now. So everyone, have a good day.